So today I'm making a thrift flip video. So I went thrifting to my closet actually. I have quite a few pieces that I don't wear anymore for various reasons. They don't suit my style, I just get bored with them or I don't have any occasions to wear them. And I thought I could give them a new life or at least I can try before getting rid of them. So this is what I will do today. Actually, I'm wearing a piece that I flipped in one of my first YouTube videos. I'm pretty happy with the results, so I hope for the best today. When it comes to my sewing skills, I'm still very much a beginner. But I think I know a lot more than I did when I made this. Today, I prepared three pieces that I want to flip. I have a plan for every one of them. I don't know if I will be able to do what I plan, but we'll see. So the first piece are those pants. These are um, like a stretchy material with an elastic band around the waist. And what I don't like about them is they are low waist and I think they don't do any good to my body. Um, they're not the, the most flattering piece, but I like the fabric, they're really comfy, they have um, pockets and what I plan to do with them is I want to make a high waist skirt so the waistline will go a lot higher and I want them to be like mid my thigh. I don't think it will be too difficult what I plan, but yeah, what life will verify it. Alright, so let's start with this. So first with the waistband at my actual waist, I marked where I want the skirt to end and I added like 5 centimeters just to make sure I don't cut it too short. I marked it with a pin and I cut at the marked length using lines on the fabric as a guide. Then I flipped them to the wrong side and I started unpicking all the stitches in the inner thigh and crotch area to make it start looking like an actual skirt. Then I started figuring out how I want to place that excess fabric and I figured I should unpick a bit more all the area where the seam is still rounded under the zipper area. Then I folded all the row edges under and I decided to try it now and check how it was actually looking. I didn't know what I could really change, so I continued with my original plan and I took the leftover fabric and with a tailor's chalk I drew triangles in the size of the gap at the front and at the back. I added approximately 1.5 cm seam allowance and I cut it out. Next I decided it was the time for some overcasting, so I started doing it with a zigzag stitch to all the row edges of my skirt and the triangles and it all took ages, gosh I hate overcasting, but this is what we do when we don't want our things to fray, don't we? When it was done, I figured I'd sew the triangle together with one side of the gap of my skirt first, so that's what I did. I made a nice little hem on the row edge and I pinned it all together and I started sewing on the right side to make sure I have a control on how this hem will look at the top. Yes, I pinned it on the left side because my planning skills are shit when it comes to sewing. Then I did pretty much the same thing with the other side of the triangle, making sure all the layers are connected and what used to be a crotch area lays nice and flat on the front. Next I tried it on and figured the length and mark how much I wanted to fold it under. I made sure it was the same length all over and I proceeded to pinning it and then sewing the bottom hem. I cut the excess material, should have 
overcast it but i was just over it maybe i will manage to get back to it in some undefined future i tried it on for the last time to figure out how to take it in since it was too large on the waist as i moved it up so much and there is the fun part i liked folding it on the front the most so all the work with that then triangle was for nothing yay I marked it with a safety pin and then pinned it all to the bottom to see how it will actually look sewn like this. I sewn it making sure the fake zipper cover and my triangle is hidden and voila it was done. I'm sorry I'm super awkward here but um, I really like how that turned out and I will definitely wear it a lot more than in its previous form. I think it's great for the current autumn winter season and I can't wait to put it on when I actually leave my house eventually. Okay, so the second piece that I want to flip is this sweatshirt. I bought it because of this text here. I really like it. I think it's fun. I don't really wear colors like that. I wear either black or white or gray colors like this. But I used to wear it quite a lot. But I think it's actually a bit too small for me. I don't also like sleeves. They are a little, like, a little bit too short. For me so my plan is to crop it and then I want to get rid of the sleeves and to make a new sleeve with a mesh material that I bought at my local like fabric store for like two dollars so I want the sleeves to be puffy and like a bit dramatic but we'll see i don't know if i have uh, enough fabric to make them really dramatic but yeah i want to crop it and then replace the sleeve with the new sleeves so this is it so just like i've said i marked where i want the sweatshirt to end and i proceeded to cut it then I eyeballed about one and a half centimeter hem and I just sewed it all over. I used a jersey needle and just so we know, when you sew stretchy materials like that, you should either use a zigzag stitch that is stretchy by itself or a straight stitch, but then you should stretch your fabric a bit while sewing. I used the second option. So now the fun part, sleeves. I started with removing the old sleeves. I just unpicked all the seams attaching them to the body. Then I cut one of the sleeves open just near the seam so I can use it as a guide, which was redundant as you will see in a second. Then I took my mesh fabric and I figured out which direction to cut it to have the most material as I bought only 50 centimeters of it. Yes, I'm cheap. I should have bought one meter. <laughs> In the end, I decided to make every sleeve from two pieces, so I used my old sleeve folded back as a reference to cut something similar in shape to half of that sleeve. I cut two pieces per sleeve, so four in total. Next, I pinned two pieces together to make one giant sleeve, and I sewed it like that. Then I forgot to turn my camera on. Gosh, I'm so good at making videos. Together the sleeves, I made two seams, one centimeter from each other, making sure not to secure them at the ends. And I started sliding the material on those threads, holding back threads. When it was a lot gathered, I started checking if its width is similar to the width of the original sleeve and I made sure to distribute uh, my fabric evenly within that width. Then I folded it in half and sewed the bottom hem, the one that goes from an armpit to a wrist. Then the scary part, attaching it to the body. So I flipped the shirt left side out and I placed my sleeve in the middle with right side out so the right side of the shirt touches the right side of the sleeve. I hope it makes sense. I made sure armpit parts meet and the longer side is on the shoulder. And I pinned the sleeve to the opening or wherever you call it in the way that I then make a seam between two hems that I made for the gathering. When it was all sewed, I tried it on to figure out what I want to do with the bottom part. 
if I wanted to gather it or to make it shorter and then I decided to take it in so I again forgot to turn my camera on and I will just show you that I cut a triangle from the wrist to the armpit and sewed it back together and I folded the bottom part to make a hem on the wrist and that's all. I repeated the whole process with the other sleeve and it was all ready. I really really like how extra and bold it looks now and as I'm a huge fan of mesh it will probably be my favorite top now. And so the final piece that I want to make is... I'm a little bit scared because uh, it's a dress and I really really like this dress um, I love the color it's like off-white and I really love this color um, I think it's gorgeous but I don't have any places to wear it because I don't really go to events that you would dress up like this and I thought uh, it would make a great top to wear with jeans when you want to dress like a little bit smart so my plan is to crop it uh, around here there is this line here at least at the back and uh, the sides i will just rip this seam that is here and what i want to do also is a peplum like something like a peplum but i don't think um i have enough fabric here to make like a real peplum because it's made from a circle so definitely i'm not able to cut a circle of leftover material but i will make something like a frill my expectations are pretty high so probably i won't be really happy with the result but i want to do this anyway if i mess up then i will just crop it here and i will have a cute like dressy crop top so to the last piece so i started with unpicking the existing seams that are around the waistline at the top where there wasn't any original seam i just cut it with a seam allowance and at the back when the zipper is i decided to leave a whole zipper as it is so i detached all the surrounding fabric from it then i tried it on and looked how attaching a frill would make it look Next, from the leftover material, I cut three rectangles that would make my peplum. I just checked what the widest I can get and I went also for the longest I could get. I decided to quickly overcast all the edges with a zigzag stitch and then to sew them together to make one long stripe. Then I made a hem on one long side, that will be my bottom hem when I sew that frill to my top. Then it was time for some gathering. I did that the exact same method as with the sleeves on my previous flip. I made two stitches one centimeter from each other and then grabbed the bottom threads and started sliding the material. It didn't want to cooperate at all and the stripe was pretty long so it took like forever. In the meantime I checked if the length of that gathered material is similar to the waist length and when it was I made sure my fabric is evenly distributed within that. When I was happy with the way it looks I pinned it to the waist, right side to the right side and I sewed it together making sure my stitch is in between those two stitches I made for the gathering purpose. Then I unpicked that said gathering stitch that is visible on the outside and it was the time for the last step. And also the most scary step, I mean reattaching the zipper. I pinned it in the way that it looks on the original part above. I changed my presser foot to a zipper foot and I sewed it the best I could, which was not good at all, but well. 
it looks a bit like a dress for a toddler but i still like it and definitely i will wear it more than when it was a dress i hope you enjoyed it and maybe you feel inspired to give your clothes a new fun life i think the pieces i flipped are pretty universal so there is a big chance you have something similar in your closet I have a lot more pieces I want to flip, so if you're interested in that, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and thumbs up if you liked it. And I think that's it for today, so see you in the next one. Bye!